Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Right, so I hope all of you guys are well. My name is Liaqat Zaman, if you guys don't know. If you guys don't know about my channel, check out my uh, videos. I put up videos nearly every single day of the week. So you can check them out um, and let me know what you guys think as well. Right, so first of all, last week, if you remember, we, or last lesson rather, we talked about um, the qala. Right, so if I actually write this down so that you guys can remember. So this rule, okay, we're going to call it the qala rule. Okay, and we said, if you remember, that the verbs that we have, past verbs, when it comes to, there's three possibilities of what they could be, right? So you can have fa'ila, you could, fa'ala, fa'ila, fa'ula. Right, so you can have, uh, you know, daraba, samia, and karuma. Now, this is important to remember. This is why, because you see this over here. This rule, the qala, is actually um, you need to know. If I write this down over here, you need to know basically that the this is originally qawala, qawala. Right, so. Two things that are important to note over here. Number one is that there is a wow here. Yeah, a wow. And number two is that there's a fatha there. Right, so fatha and wow. So there's two things that you basically um, need to, to know for this. The wow and the fatha. So... If you remember when I told you about this, where is this? Uh, let me show you guys. I mentioned to you over here, I said the Ain can either be Wow, Alif Ya, or anything else. Yeah, that's to do with this, right? And the Fatha Kasra one is to do with So if you have these two right in front of you all the time, and you kind of you know, know what, what we're talking about over here. Now, when we're talking about the middle middle letter, we're talking about this basically. Does it have a wow, alif, ya, uh, and or fatha kasra, fatha kasra, dhamma? What does it have? So these are two pieces of vital information that you need when you're trying to figure this out. So this qala rule is when the middle letter is basically a wow and a fatha. Now, this actually has names for this, okay? So you see this wow, alif, and ya. You call this, uh, okay, actually, let me do a different piece of paper. So, when you have something like this, when you have, let's say, fa, Ain and Lam, right? So these are Fa Ain Lam you have over here. So when it comes to the concept of having a wow, each one of these, right? Each one of these uh, can have a. So this Fa can be uh, a wow. This Ain can be a wow. And this lam can be a wow. So we're only talking about the huruf and illas over here, okay? Likewise, this fa can be a ya. This ain can be a ya. And this lam can be a ya. Right? These are the two possibilities of wow and ya, basically. Right? So you got wows and yeah yeah so wow and yeah so if we are discussing the first word letter over here and you have a wow or a ya you call this mithal this is some terms that you guys should need to know mithal you call this mithal right so mithal simply means that the Wow, right, that you have, or the, the fa kalima, fa kalima over here, 
is either a waw or a ya. Yeah, so you say mithal wawi, mithal yai. If it's the ain kalima that you're saying is a waw or a ya, you call this ajwaf. Ajwaf. Right? Jawf means like the middle. Like the ajwaf, the middle. Yeah, so ajwaf wawi, ajwaf yai. And if you're talking about the last letter, it's got a waw or a ya, you call this nakis. Nakis means deficient. Right? Deficient. So, uh, wow, nakis wawi, nakis yai. Right? And when we come across these more, we'll talk about more of these terms in detail. But all you have to know for now is basically that the fa kalima is either myth, it's called mithal wawi yai. If the ain kalima has a wawi yai, you call it ajwaf waw or ajwaf ya. And if the lam has a wawi ya, you call it nakis waw or nakis yai. Right? So that's. So qala is going to be, what's qala going to be? Right. Qala is going to be ajwaf, isn't it? So I, I deliberately started off with the middle because the middle ones are a bit e more easier to, like mithal, there's no specific like rule that you need to know when it comes to past verbs for mithal. Right, so you don't need to know anything there. So this doesn't really kind of affect, it's going to be the normal as before, when we did like nasara or something like that. Just basically all the same. Uh, ajwaf and Narkis are the ones which are going to be affected, right? So you need to know about Ajwaf rule. So the one with, that we done last lesson is called Ajwaf Wawi, right? and it has a fatha. And the rule that you have to learn, the two rules that you have to know, is that the middle letter has got to be changed to an alif. And the second rule you need to know, which applies to all of them, and the second rule you need to know, which only applies from... Uh, the ninth, sixth one on the list, yeah, sixth one, yeah, plural, feminine, right, is that the alif has to be dropped and the dhamma, you got to put a dhamma right over here. Right, dhamma. Okay, now, so today, what do I want to show you guys today? So today, I want to show you guys another one now. So this is another ajwaf, but this is from khafa. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to write this all down. So if you can, just try to write it down or, I don't know. Actually, let me just put this over here and so I know exactly how I'm writing it. And you guys can have a go as well. I'll try to speed up this, this uh, part of the video so you guys don't have to watch me do all of this. But anyway, um, I'm just going to write this all down exactly the same as this one. But the only difference is, is it's going to be khafa. Okay, so khafa. So khafa is made up of kha, wa, and fa. But the only difference is it's kha, wi, fa. So it's ajwaf, yes. Yeah, ajwaf, wawi. But it has a kasra. Yeah, it has a kasra. And this is going to affect part of it now. So if we were to write this all down, right? So we started off here. And we said, okay, so kha, wa, fa. Yeah, kha, wa, fa. Kha, wa, See now, I had the computer. It wasn't the computer. I could have just copy and paste and just enjoyed the luxuries of being able to do that. But anyway, I suppose writing it down helps you guys concentrate. And if some of you guys are writing, you guys can keep up as well. But this is going to be sp speeded up. So. You probably won't be able to see all of it. Okay, so that's one, two, three, 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 two. Three. Okay, so that's 14 we got there, right? 
So the same, obviously the same thing is going to apply over here. This one's, you know, nothing really. And then over here, you're going to have at, right? And then you got uh, ta, na, and then you got ta, and then you got tum, tum, and you got ti, and then you got tum, tum, na, and then tu, and then na. Right, okay, that's done. Next. Right, so, let's do the green color. Alif, Khafa, and then you got Ta, and then you got Tuma, and then you got uh, Tuma again. Okay, it's done. And the blue one's left out. Plural, so you got Fu, and then you got Na, uh, okay, it has to be a second there, and then you got Tum, and then you got Tunna, okay. Right, so that's basically this. Now, uh, okay, so all of these ones, sukun, 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 sukun. So now you know what's going to happen with this. This is clearly going to be affected, right? Because the rest of them have fathas, uh, fatha, fatha, and that one isn't rather. All those have fathas. Okay, and then all of this is khawafa, 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 khawafa. And the middle one is has a kasrandi. So khawifa, 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 khawifu, khawifat, khawifata, khawifna, khawifta, khawiftu ma, khawifti, khawiftu ma, khawiftunna, khawiftu, khawifna. Right? So the first rule that's going to apply here is the change one. Because you have an alif in the middle, so the rule is that this change has to occur. Right? And what is that change? The change is that the middle, the middle wow has to be changed into an alif. Okay, so all of these now we have to change them to alif. So we get rid of this alif. Alif, Alif, all of this. Alif, all the way down. So as you can see, what's happening is these rules now are being consistently applied to all of them. And that's what we want to try and understand in Sarf. Yeah, so now it's become Khafa, Khafu, Khafat, Khafata. Now here, Second rule applies. So because you have two sukuns that have come together, right? Two sukuns. Uh, so what's going to happen here? Number two is change. And the same rule as the one that we've done over here. right? But the only difference is over there is Dhamma. Here it's going to be Kasra. Right? So two sukun rule. Right, so two sukuns next to each other. That's where the rule is. So number one is remove the alif. And number two is give kasra to the previous layer. Okay, so over here, what we're going to do over here is we are going to give it a kasra. Now kasra, I'm going to give it in a green color, okay, just so that you guys can see it. So over here, we're going to give kasra to this now. So we've got to get rid of all these fathas. And give it a kasra. Right, so kasra, 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 kasra. Yeah, so see what's happened over here. 
خاف خاف خافوا خافت خافتا خفنا خفت خفتما خفتم خفتي خفتما خفتن خفت خفنا Now this one was قل Right now why is this change occurred? Simply because the middle letter had a كسر on there So this changes Okay and that one had a فتحة Right, that one had a fatha. So this is the general rule that you have. Okay, this is the general rule that you have in this particular sort of like um, you know scenario. Uh, but the thing to remember is is that sometimes there are some words where you can actually have both taking place. Right, so you can have you either have a choice really. Like oh here you don't have a choice. You have to say khifna khifna. You have to say that. Qulna qulta. Or you have to say that. Right, but some words. Um, and I'll leave in the comments, do you guys know which words where you can actually say both? You can say these last ones with a fatha or with dhamma, sorry, or with a kasra. Yeah. All right. So this is what, now if I was to write this all out, right, over here, it's going to come out like this then. So, khif, uh, sorry, it's going to come out as... خافة خافة خافوا خافت خافتا Trying to keep my writing neat. Khifna. Khifta. Khif. Tuma. Khif. Tuma. Khif. Tum. Khifti. And And then khiftu and khifna. And there you go. That's basically what you have over here. So let's have a look in the Quran now. So in the Quran, you have uh, some examples. Let's show you guys in the Quran. Right, and this is where, once you know this rule, you look in the Quran and you say, oh yeah, this word, I remember this word. So for example, qalu, you guys know that one, right? Uh, okay, let's, let's have a look in... Uh, So over here, for example, like uh, وَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تُقْسِتُوا فِي الْيَتَامَ خِفْتُمْ right? So خِفْتُمْ Here you have originally it was خَاف خَوَفْتُمْ خَوِفْتُمْ Then it became خَوَفْتُمْ And then remove the alif And what does it become? خِفْتُمْ Yeah, actually Forgot to remove all these alifs just in case one says, oh, How can we mess up the alifs? So, got it all the alifs. Right, so gone. So, you got khiftum there. Okay, uh, let's look at another word. Taba. Okay, taba is interesting. Taba actually uh, over here. So, if you look over here. Uh, this is actually a bit different. Tibna, we do say tibna, but this is a different rule. Yeah, this is actually from ya. So just like there's a rule for this, for the wa one, there's actually one for the ya, that if the middle letter is a ya, which we're going to do, inshallah, if it's a ya, then you you give a kasra. Right, so that's something that you can just remember. For in khiftum Allah ta'adilu khiftum again, let's come over here. Uh, 
اوكي قولا وابتلوا اليتامى انستم انس يونس رشدا فادفعوا الي اموالهم ولا تاكلوا اسرافا بدارا ان يكبروا فليتوما كان فقيرا فليأكل معروف دفعتم اوكي دفع يدفع اس نورمال فيرب رايت اول ثري لاس صحي دفع دفعتم اشهدوا اوكي كفى نوتس كفى اس كان يا دي اند رايت So this is actually naqis. Remember we said those are three types of words. So this is naqis. Live the jari nasib ma taraka wa al taraka yatruku. Right. So you can actually make a list of this. You go through the Quran, and you can just like just go through and work out taraka over there. Qalla. Qalla is actually one that's made up of qaf and two lambs. Right. So qaf two lambs there. Qalla. Kathura. Kathura is the three letters, different letters, but the middle one has a dhamma. كثورة حضرة يحضر right so you got حضرة ده then you got فرزق وسأمر بهم من الأمر يا قولوا قولوا is an أمر بهم من الأمر يا ليخشى بهم من الأمر يا خافوا look خافوا is there so خافوا third in the list right so no need to remove the ألف now this is a different type you see but it's a slightly different type right so you guys can have actually a go at this yourselves check it out كانت right كان يكونو so it's like قال يقولو right so it follows the قال pattern right so you can actually make for yourself a whole list of كان كان كانو كانت right to figure that out so you got كان there um Kunna, right? So kunna. This is a bit of an interesting one because this is where you have another rule, right? Another rule over here, uh, which you didn't have in the qala. So that's the kunna one. Um, okay, I think that's that's it basically. So these are some of the the rules which you guys can try to apply yourselves. Try and go through the Quran systematically, any surah you like, and try to find examples. You can put them in the comments as well, and this way it will help you basically in trying to understand the changes because that's the thing that we're focusing on now is the changes that you don't know that the Arabs have made but you're trying to learn why they've made them for you're trying to find the sort of formulas or the patterns behind them so anyway I hope guys this benefited you if you guys enjoyed this hit the like button it really helps me a lot helps my channel a lot and uh, yeah Jazakumullah khair and I will see you next time Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Jazakum Allah khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel i've been able to get myself a camera which as you guys can see the quality of this camera a mic system software i've been able to hire an editor so what do i want to do i want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners for intermediate advanced in the subjects like arabic and fiqh and hadith and tafsir and aqida and all those other things as well and for this to happen again this channel needs support so if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access uh, this channel through social media, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, Facebook page, and other things as well that you can visit. So Jazakumullah khair again guys. Thank you very much for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.